Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend along back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know in the comment section below and we'll do it for you. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Prophet Muhammad. Everyone will know the truth. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the exalted, the perfect, the all-knowing, the Lord of all that exists. Allah, through his perfect wisdom, made the way he communicated with us to be through other human beings like us. From the time of Adam alayhi salam, the first human being, all the way to the final prophet of Allah, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah sent guidance through people of the same human tribe Beni Adam, the tribe of Adam Not only that, but Allah chose the greatest human beings The most noble and virtuous Those are the ones He sent revelation Those are the ones that He made prophets And those prophets took the revelation that Allah sent to them And He conveyed it to the people, the nations That each prophet was entrusted to convey the message to and not only were these prophets the best human beings, but Allah assisted them with clear proofs, clear miracles, and even divine scriptures. And then once the truth has been made clear and evident to the people, human beings have a choice to make. To submit to the truth, to follow the prophet, which leads to Jannah, to paradise in the hereafter, or to follow the shaitan, to follow their own desires, to reject the prophets and follow the path to Jahannam, to the hellfire. And just like this world will eventually come to an end, just like our lives will all eventually come to an end, likewise the line of prophets that would be sent to human beings would eventually come to an end. Therefore there would eventually be a final messenger of Allah, a final, last seal of the prophets to be sent to human beings. And of course, that prophet already came, already died. That was the prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he was unique not only in that he was the last final prophet sent to humanity, but he was unique and special in many different aspects. One being the fact that he was not sent to a particular specific nation like the prophets of the past, but rather he was sent as a prophet to all of humanity. Allah tells us in the Quran that the Prophet Muhammad was not sent except as a mercy to all of the worlds. And because he was the last prophet and we came after him, he is therefore our prophet. He is the prophet of all of those who come after him. Since it will not be like in the past where Allah would send a new prophet, a new messenger to clarify once the people went astray, once the previous revelation may have been changed and manipulated by other human beings. Since that is no longer the case, Allah has preserved the message of the last prophet. We can clearly see scientifically the preservation of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam's teachings, the preservation of the divine book that was sent to him, the Quran. Allah tells us in the Quran, indeed it is we who sent down the message and indeed we will guard it from corruption. So he is the prophet. He is the superior human being that Allah chose to convey the truth, to bring forth guidance for all of the world, for all of humanity. This is the will of Allah and we have been commanded by him to follow this prophet. If you love Allah and you want Allah to love you, then follow his prophet that he sent to you. The prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, said, By the one in whose hand is my soul, even if Musa alayhi salam, was alive, he would have no choice but to follow me. This is part of a divine decree. We do not get to pick and choose which prophets throughout time we want to follow. It will not be accepted by Allah that the Jews want to reject Prophet Muhammad wasalam, and still to this day follow Musa alayhi salam, when Musa himself if he were alive today, would follow Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. Likewise, it will not be accepted by Allah that there are Christians today that want to reject Prophet Muhammad and follow Isa, follow Jesus alayhi salam. In fact, Isa alayhi salam himself will return as a follower of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Allah tells us in the Quran when Isa himself foretold of the coming of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And remember when Isa, son of Maryam, said, O oh, children of Israel, I am the messenger of Allah unto you, confirming the Torah before me and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come after me, whose name shall be Ahmed. 
But when he came to them, when Muhammad وسلم, came to them with clear proofs, they said, this is plain magic. And let us remember the truth about Isa alayhi salam that he did not die, nor was he crucified. Allah tells us that they boasted saying, we killed Messiah, Isa, son of Maryam, the messenger of Allah, but they killed him not nor crucified him. But Allah raised him up unto himself and Allah is ever all powerful, all wise. So Jesus, Isa, son of Maryam, he did not die, but rather he will return before the day of resurrection and will follow Prophet Muhammad وسلم, who said, by the one in whose hand is my soul, the son of Maryam will descend among you as a just judge. And what is meant by just judge is that Isa salam will come down and rule according to this sharia, the divine law of Islam. And that this divine law will remain and not be abrogated, but rather Isa salam will be one of the rulers of this ummah, the ummah, the nation of Muhammad wasallam. And then finally, just like every other human being, Isa salam, he will eventually die. And who will bury him? Who will pray over him? The Muslims. The Prophet ﷺ said regarding the return of Isa, and he will remain for as long as Allah wills he should remain, then he will die and the Muslims will offer the funeral prayer for him and bury him. This is the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the virtue of our Ummah and our Prophet ﷺ. It was reported in Sahih al-Bukhari that the Prophet ﷺ said, I was shown the nations and some prophets passed by with a few followers and some prophets passed by with no followers. Then I was shown a great multitude and I said, what is this? Is this my Ummah? It was said, no, this is Musa and his people. It was said, look at the horizon. There I saw a huge multitude filling the horizon. And it was said, look there and look there on the horizons of the sky. There was a multitude filling the horizons. It was said, this is your Ummah. And of these, 70,000 will enter paradise without being brought to account. One thing Muslims should always try to keep in mind is that regardless of what people think about us in this dunya, regardless of what people think or say about our Prophet والسلام, in the life of this world, even if they ridicule us, they oppress us, they lie and slander us, one thing is 100% sure and that is that a day is coming where everything will be made crystal clear. A day is coming where nobody will be able to deny the truth. Yes, in the dunya, in this worldly life, we can go back and forth arguing, debating. They attack our prophet. We defend our prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam. They hate our prophet. We love our prophet. They try to call away from him. We try to call toward him and follow him. But unlike the dunya where sometimes we just reach a point where we have to agree to disagree. After all the bickering back and forth and arguing and debating and trying to convince one another, you just have to part ways and not, not necessarily come to a conclusion everyone agrees upon. However, the hereafter is not like that. In the hereafter, everybody will know the truth. They will know who that man, Prophet Muhammad wasallam, was. They will know who the Muslims were. They will realize the reality of their actions, but it will be too late. And we won't have to deal with them anymore. We won't have to hear this vain talk, this slander. We won't have to listen anymore to these lies about our Prophet, about our religion, about our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah will make everything clear to everybody that day. People will finally admit the truth. They will admit the wrongdoing they did. They will admit and testify, bear witness against themselves regarding how wrong they were for turning their back on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, for rejecting the guidance sent from their Lord who created them. And we ask that Allah save us from the terrible ending that awaits those who reject the truth. So one quick example just to demonstrate how clear it will be that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he is the best of mankind on the day of judgment. It was foretold by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam when he said, when the day of resurrection comes, the people will surge with each other like waves. They will come to Adam and say, intercede for us with your Lord. He will say, I am not fit for that. Go to Ibrahim, for he is the close friend of the most merciful. So they will go to Ibrahim, but he will say, I am not fit for that. Go to Musa, for he is the one to whom Allah spoke directly. So they will go to Musa, but he will say, I am not fit for that. Go to Isa, for he is a soul created by Allah and his word. So they will go to Isa, but he will say, I am not fit for that. Go to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So they will come to me and I will say, I am fit for that. Then I will ask my Lord for permission and he will give me permission and he will inspire me with words of praise with which I will praise him. Words that I do not now know. So I will praise him with those words of praise and I will fall down prostrate before him. 
He will say, O oh Muhammad, raise your head, speak, and intercession will be granted to you. Ask and you will be given. Intercede and your intercession will be accepted. I will say, O oh Lord, my Ummah, my Ummah, my nation, my nation. He will say, go and bring forth everyone in whose heart there is faith, the weight of a barley grain. So I will go and do that. And the story continues where the Prophet ﷺ goes back and forth interceding on behalf of his Ummah. But the last thing I want to mention is this. Just think, when the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ is clearly the leader of Beni Adam, the tribe of Adam, of human beings on the day of judgment, when he is unambiguously seen as the best of mankind, he was the messenger of Allah sent with the truth. Can you even imagine, can you possibly fathom the regret, the shame, the sadness those people who slandered him in this life will feel? Can you imagine how badly they will want the Prophet ﷺ to intercede on their behalf? They know Jahannam, the hellfire, is what awaits them. And as the final messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi is going and interceding on behalf of those who followed him, they will forever have to deal with the fact that not only did they reject him. Not only did they deny him, but they slandered him, they mocked him, they ridiculed him. And not only that, but they did the same to his followers. They oppressed and were unjust to the followers of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, for no other reason except that they followed him, except that they loved him, except that they believed in him and wanted to follow his guidance that Allah sent him with. May Allah make us of those who enter Jannah with our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم. Jazakumullahu khairan wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I wish uh, in school we were given a little more information when we were learning that religious course. I, I think I took it once. I'm not even sure. No, I don't think I took it. I think it was optional. You, you had to choose between two um, courses. But when we take those courses, I feel like the syllabus should include giving more insight other than just focusing on what religion throughout the text. And I like what he's saying. In the end of everything, we know judgment day is going to come when everything collapses, when everything is going to be rebuilt. And this is what he's saying. That day is going to come and we're going to discover the truth. We're going to discover the truth um, through God himself. Because God is going to tell us um, this was wrong, this was right. And for those that were doing right, enjoy your heaven. And for those that were not doing right by God's word, though they'll have help waiting for them otherwise this was interesting what do you guys have to say about the stuff he spoke about i mean he spoke about a lot of things i just wanted to summarize from my own understanding what's your opinion on this guy's message make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video